escalated quickly. Well, I'm not sure if this is going to help or hurt, but I guess it's a start. No. Maybe I can do engine swaps and things down here. At least it'll be uh, smooth. Huh. Well, whatever. Guess we're going to find out if the vet goes in and out right here. So, luckily, you know, I decided to get tires on this because obviously we know it needed it. And uh, it is apparent to me that these are no good. Miles, I love you. You're so useful to me. Six tires in here, Miles, and you don't even break a sweat. She she just got weirded out because I turned the GoPro on. <laughs> she smiled for it. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, new rubber. Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. We have another exciting video. Okay, probably really not that exciting, but for me, it's something I wanna talk about. Now, I did buy this car at the auto auction and as we do know, it did have current inspection stickers. But what I came to found out when I got this thing torn apart here to get the tires on is the, uh, yeah, it definitely was lick and sticked. I would definitely fail this for inspection. So whoever inspected this didn't really go over it very well or anything like that. Um, the brake pads are about 330 seconds, which technically passed, but the rotor here is just tore up. So we're gonna go ahead and get them replaced. Let's get started. Oh, 
just like that. And just like that. Well, I'm sure you guys know how to do this, but usually I just take one bolt out, flip the caliper up, you know, flip it up, slide it out. Go ahead and lube all your, your uh, hardware and everything like that. And I got another visitor. Jake. <laughs> but there you have it. We're all back together. Let's get to the other side. There you have it, guys. Brand new tires, brand new front brakes. And this is definitely a huge, huge no-no. I don't know whoever stickered it, but uh, you definitely should have looked at that, guys. Um, definitely should have looked it over a lot better than what you did. As you can tell on here, the rotors are just straight destroyed. And that's the problem nowadays is you don't know who to trust. This pad is cracked right down the center and definitely less than uh, 230 seconds on that uh, backing plate. But it is what it is. It's taken care of now. This is actually even separating. You can see it there. It's actually... Um, delaminating off of there uh, there you can see one that's not delaminating and there you can see one that is straight de de delaminating Ugh, hard to get it out there but who knows maybe they just looked at this one and called it good I don't know it's hard to say but definitely a huge no-no but we got her taken care of let's get the wheels back on how you doing good good uh -huh. do you like this car no you don't no what? You never had this car. I like this car. I don't. Unbelievable. I like this car. What car do you like? The Corvette. The Corvette? Is that your favorite car? My car. My favorite car, too. And I like... <laughs> and I like Miles. Who's Miles? Mm -hmm. Who's Miles? Uh, our truck. Our truck? Yeah. I don't care about the truck. Yeah? I don't. You don't? No. Oh, okay. Say bye to the vlog. Bye. That's it? You're just a bye? You don't get no cool waves or anything? Bye, uh, no. Uh, no. Okay. Well, I'll put your hand over the screen like that. More goodies have arrived. What's that? That's actually a rear bumper. Is it really? Yeah. They told me it rolled up, and I was like, well, what? Like, how does that work? They said, just lay it out for a day, and it'll take yeah. home however it is. Oh, well, that's unusual. Yeah, I, I have no idea. But. What's your last name? Uh, Freeman. And just like that, we have more car parts. Well, let's get it open. You guys are going to have to bear with me, too. I am, uh, I guess I got a little bit of a cold, so my voice might be coming in and out, and I apologize. Let's get it open. how this is shipped, but as they reached out and said, it will Oh boy.
Oh boy. Well, there you have it. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see here, but we have a new rear bumper for the C5. I'll lay some pictures of what this is actually gonna look like here. Um, I'll go ahead and pull them and show you what this bumper is gonna look like. It actually has a, uh, you know, a nice little arch here in the back. I'm, I'm a bit excited, I'm not going to lie. Not sure how well you guys will be able to see me here. It is actually um, getting pretty late out. It's about 9.30 on Friday. Um, just trying to shoot a little bit of an outro. Um, I got to say thank you to Corvette Creations for you know reaching out and asking me if I would represent their rear bumper. Um, they have many other parts. Check those guys out. It's Corvette Creations with a Z on Instagram, and I believe they also have a website. Great guy to deal with. Um, very easy, you know, the great product. Everything looks very well. Um, now, I'm not going to get the bumper put on or anything before the call out because it's something that I don't want to, you know, have affect the call out or anything like that. So it will be a little bit postponed. Probably going to be a month or two until I can get that rear bumper on there. But once we hit colder weather, that bumper is going to go get painted and i also have another trick and a little secret that's going to happen too in the winter months with the body of the c5 so please guys be bear with me on that i'm excited i hope you guys are excited and also i wanted to talk about that car that is 100 percent why i check out my cars and i look them over because you know it's just like everybody says you can't judge a book by its cover and that car definitely had good inspection stickers on it but as you see by the the pads and the rotors they need it replaced so I'm thankful that I was able to get them replaced. Now we can actually go ahead and sell that car and sell that car knowing that it's going to be 100% good to go and go down the road the way it should and be safe for somebody. So with that being said, guys, if you like the content, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next upload. I know this upload wasn't the most entertaining. I'm sure most of you know how to change brakes and things like that already, but you know, thanks for bearing with me. I got to show everything because I got a bunch of people out there that think I don't actually work. So I'm going to show you guys a lot more of my work here in the next couple weeks. And uh, I hope you guys are excited about it. See you in the next upload.